The types of things that we're going to want to look at are account balances and relationships. How have the account balances changed from period to period? How have the relationships between different accounts changed from period to period? Be aware that an analysis of financial statements can reveal things other than fraud. The analysis could find differences or changes that are not expected that are a result of errors, fraud, or unusual or non-recurring events. So there might be legitimate reasons why we see some unusual things in the financial statements. We can't automatically assume that fraud is to blame for questionable results of our analytical review, but we have to look for other evidence that may support or refute a claim of fraud. There are a number of different things to evaluate when doing your analytical review. First, we're going to look at current period figures versus prior period numbers. We can compare the current year results to the last several years, and we might also want to look at quarterly figures. Comparing numbers between periods may be called horizontal analysis. We're going to line up each period in columns next to one another, and then look at various line items, comparing them in a horizontal fashion, period to period. The dollars should be compared as well as percentage changes between periods. Financial statement line items may also be compared to one another. This analysis compares the items as a percentage of other line items and may be called vertical analysis. An example of this is comparing revenue and cost of goods sold. Cost of goods sold may be calculated as a percentage of revenue, and we may look at how that cost of goods sold percentage changes over time. These two numbers usually have a predictable relationship as a business has a normal percentage of cost of goods sold compared to revenue. Other financial statement line items also rise and fall in conjunction with revenue, and those patterns should be evaluated. This analysis should be done for balance sheet items as well as income statement items. Examples might be comparing liabilities and assets or comparing certain assets to total assets. A company's actual financial results should be compared to budgeted or projected figures if they're available. We want to evaluate how actual results compare to what management estimated would occur before that accounting period. While we understand that estimates are simply a projection, any significant variances from the budgets should be investigated. Company data should also be compared to operational facts. Does the financial data line up with what happened? For example, if production went up, then revenue and accounts receivable also should have increased by reasonable amounts. The company data should be compared to industry data. How does the company compare to other similar companies? Are there unusual deviations? Because those may indicate fraud or the manipulation of the financial statements. For example, a company that has much higher profitability than other comparable companies might raise some suspicions. Compare numeric data to the notes to the financial statements. Do the explanations given in the notes make sense when they are compared to the numbers? Are there any obvious or maybe not so obvious contradictions?